Hey YouTube, Ray here again. Smoking John Cotton's Double Pressed Kentucky. This is a um, the second um, blend of this uh, new, well, not that new, but latest. Uh, double pressed line of the John Cotton brand. It's a uh, Kentucky, Virginia blend. Uh, it comes in, you know, comes in a press cake, um, but, you know, it falls apart very easily. Uh, and, you know, just like the, the Virginia, um, it, it does... It, I would say it's got a little bit more than, um, at least from what I've come to expect out of the John Cotton line. And I've tried, I think, I think I've tried just about everything from, from the John Cotton line. And, you know, I, I really wasn't that impressed. Sorry. Neighbors have to be moving their cans right now. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get into it. What am I tasting? Well, like I said, this is a this is a uh, Kentucky Virginia blend. However, the Kentucky is very straightforward. It's um, you know throughout the whole blend, that's what you're getting. You're getting Kentucky. However. What makes this blend um, a good mixture is because it has the right amount of Virginia. For, for my taste, for my liking, it has the right amount of Virginia. The Virginia that, that was used here is relatively, relatively good Virginia, not horrible. Uh, not the greatest, but you know it, it's got enough to where it does, I think, what a Virginia should do when it's added to Kentucky. And that is to mellow it out, but in a sweet, natural way, not not to make it light or or to uh, make it mild or or, or or anything like that. Which at times, it, I one of the things that happens that, that I keep tasting with Kentucky and Virginia blends is that they add too much Virginia or not enough Virginia. Okay, when the Virginia is not is too much what it does is it takes too much away from the kentucky and you're left with a almost sour very bitter taste um when there's not enough virginia to kentucky the kentucky can be very strong because you know kentucky can be a very strong harsh tobacco if you're not used to it it you know it it, it can be very strong um if they don't add enough virginia However, in this blend, I think they added the right amount. The uh, Kentucky, like I said, is uh, it, it's very forward. Okay, you're tasting Kentucky through and through, start to finish. You're tasting the Kentucky, but the Kentucky's mellow. It's um, it, it, it's got strength. Don't get me wrong; it's not mild. It's it's mellow, but not mild. So you get this very nice taste, and you sort of do. At least I do. I I, I get the Virginia taste in there somewhere. You know, th throughout the blend, you do get the Virginia in there. It's a it's it's a very nice blend. Um, something that I would definitely say, you know, if you if you want to try it and get a chance to try it, definitely pick some up. However, <laughs> sorry. Mm. Am I impressed? Does this get a wow factor from me? It does not. I'm sorry to say it really doesn't and the reason that it doesn't it's because as far as Kentucky blends the, the, there's some out there already I've had some out there already that are just as good as this and uh, and you know some actually come with a better price unfortunately uh, and 
you know, it, uh, yeah, man, I, I hate to bring, to, to take it to that point, you know, with my experience in smoking this, but unfortunately it is the truth and so many tobaccos are like this and, uh, you know, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video about that because uh, I, I keep finding that um, so many blends nowadays, it's just, it's almost like they, they sort of blend into each other almost and this is one of those that there's there's no wow factor here there there's nothing it's a good blend don't get me wrong like i like i just described it's a very good blend but there's just nothing grand about it there, there there's nothing that that sets it apart from another good kentucky blend unfortunately this is just another good kentucky blend and i already have some so <laughs> will i ever get it again Probably not. This is definitely, like I said, it's not something that I, I, I'd be interested in picking up again. Not because it's bad, not at all. It's just that, like, you know, I already have something that's comparable to this. Actually better than this. Um, you know, do I recommend it? Yeah, of course I recommend it. You know, if you guys... Um, this is one of those uh, Kentucky blends that I would recommend to, especially beginners. You know, guys who are just starting out and don't really have a good... Uh, feeling about Kentucky definitely try something like this because I like I said this still has that nice strength to it but very mellow because of the right amount of Virginia um, but there's others unfortunately you know but this is one of them to try out you know if you don't have anything else you find this try it out so yeah John Cotton's double pressed Kentucky oh Jesus <laughs> sorry about that anyways did I move the camera? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Sorry, guys. So, yeah. Well, that's it for me. Compadres, comadres, as always, thank you for watching, if you still are. Bye, Dios.